Hi viewers, this uh, brightly colored tree in front of me is uh, a prime example of mountain ash uh, in fruit. <clears throat> uh, I wanted to offer you what uh, this book, Edible and Medicinal Plants of the Rockies, has to say in regards to mountain ash, uh, something I've made a couple of bows out of. Uh, mountain ashes, uh, sorbus, uh, and then SPP period behind that. Um, so uh, as a food, these bitter fruits can be eaten raw, cooked, or dried, but many tribes considered them inedible. The green berries are too bitter to eat, but the ripe fruit, mellowed by repeated freezing, is said to be quite tasty. Mountain ash fruit is usually... Let's have a look here. Let's get up close. Mountain ash fruit, there, that's what we're all talking about here, is usually cooked and sweetened. It has been used to make jams, jellies, pies, ale, and a bittersweet wine. The berries have also been dried and ground into flour. In Northern Europe, this flour was fermented and used to make a strong liquor. <clears throat> Medicinal applications. Native peoples boiled the peeled branches or inner bark to make teas for treating back pain, colds, headaches, sore chest, and internal bleeding, perhaps associated with tuberculosis. The branches were boiled and then the steam was inhaled to relieve headaches and sore chests. The berries can be used to make a juice rich in vitamin C. The astringent berry tea has been used as a gargle for relieving sore throats and tonsillitis. European mountain ash fruit was used to make medicinal teas for treating indigestion, hemorrhoids, diarrhea, and problems with the urinary tract, gallbladder, and heart. Teas made from its bark and leaves were used to treat malarial fevers, ulcers, hemorrhoids, and sores. Other uses for the mountain ash? European mountain ash is a popular ornamental tree and as the na native mountain ashes make attractive garden shrubs, easily propagated from seeds sown in autumn, the scarlet fruit clusters attract many birds. Some native peoples rub the berries into their scalps to kill lice and treat dandruff. Clumped deciduous trees are trees with pinnately divided, sharply toothed leaves. So this is what they're referring to in the uh, sharply... Uh, see how they're separated there? And they come to points. Okay, uh, what else can we say about this? There is a warning that comes with this. The fruits are said to be somewhat toxic because they contain cyanide-related compounds and parascorbic, a parascorbic acid, reported to be cancer causing, a cancer-causing compound. Cooking neutralizes these toxins. So uh, this is... Uh, do, do, do. I don't know if this is Western Mountain Ash. I, it grows, yes, this is Western Mountain Ash versus the other two varieties uh, referenced here, which are also Sitka Mountain Ash and European Mountain Ash, also known as the Rowan Tree. There you go. I enjoyed that. Hope you did too.